So, as many of you know, I've technically only done one video this year, that being the Mario Kart Live one. I am doing a playthrough of Super Mario Galaxy, but I like doing videos with my face on it or more original content. So today, we are going to be doing the tier maker for the mainline Mario games. Now, the hard part about this is do I rank them on relevancy or like how good they are? Because obviously, super, the original Super Mario Bros, that is a really monumental game. But today, is it really, like, that good? Like, I know it's Mario, but <laughs> let's get into this. So, Super Mario Bros. For its time, really, really good game, don't, we get, don't get me wrong. But nowadays, it really didn't age that well. Mario was, like, super colored. He's even dying in the cover art. Uh, I'm gonna put it in A tier. It's not going to be number one in A tier, but that's where it's going to put it for now. Like I said, great game. Just not as good as it used to be today. Back then, yeah, it was fantastic back then. But today, th there's much better Mario games out. And there, there were some limitations with the NES. So next, we have the sequel, Super Mario Bros. 2. I have never beat this. I have never beat this game. It only came out in Japan. <laughs> Because it was too hard for other parts of the world. I'm going to put it in B tier just because it's like super hard. And it's basically the exact same game as Super Mario Bros. But just harder. There's 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 different levels. But it, it's basically the exact same game. Like it, the, the graphics and the pixels are literally the exact same game. Like yeah. Super Mario Bros. 2 for us... I have this on the Game Boy Advance, I have it on the Wii U, and obviously on Nintendo Switch Online. I haven't beaten this one yet, because I got stuck on one of the levels. Um, I'm just gonna put this over the other Super Mario Bros. 2. <laughs> Technically not really a Mario game, because it's just a reskin of another game. But Alright, next. Super Mario Bros. 3. A tier, beating Super Mario Bros. 1. This game is so good. I haven't beaten this yet either, <laughs> but I played it on the 3DS and the Nintendo Switch. And I haven't beaten it, because I got stuck on that one too. <laughs> the game is really, really good. And it still looks pretty good today. Definitely the best out of the original three Super Mario Bros. games on the NES. And many people still praise it today, so that's kind of cool. Next, Super Mario Land. I have not played this one at all. Um, this was for the Game Boy, and it was the first portable Mario game. It's black and white, because the limitation of the Game Boy is only black and white. I've never played this, so I'm just gonna... I, I, I've heard some good things about the game, but... I'm gonna put it in B tier. <laughs> um, I have yet to play this game. I I I don't. I, I might get it on 3DS, but if Nintendo does make a Game Boy Online, I'll do that. Also, check out my 2021 predictions video. I predict that Nintendo's skipping N N Nintendo 64 this year in favor for the Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. Next, Super Mario World. I have beat this one. And I'm gonna put it, um, between Mario Bros. 3 and Mario Bros. 1. This game's good. That's all I got. This game's, that's a good game. I really like how it's one giant world map instead of, like, this was, like, the first game to have an actual world map. Super Mario Bros. they had one, but it was, like, kind of linear. Super Mario World, like, took it to the next level and made it humongous. This is, the, this was on the NE, SNES, the brand new console. The, it was a lot more powerful than the NES, because, duh. They were able to do a lot more stuff with it. It was also the first game of Yoshi. So, that's awesome. <coughs> oh. I got no spray in my throat. <laughs> Anyways. Super Mario Land 2. I have beat this one. 
pretty good game. My first one of Wario. It's also black and white because it was for the Game Boy. Um, I'm gonna put it um after Super Mario Bros. Two. The power ups are pretty cool. There is the carrot, which turns you into a bunny that can fly somehow. The levels were really cool in this game. There was like a space one. There was one where you go inside a giant robot Mario. That's really cool. Um, this one I don't think is that well known. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but yeah, not a lot of people really know this game. Mainly because it's like a sequel. And Mario sequels don't really get that much recognition. Because, you know, like... They don't get as much marketing as the originals. Next. Yoshi's Island. I haven't beat this one. Uh, I'm gonna put it... In... I'm gonna put it after Super Mario Land 2. Yoshi's Island was marketed as the sequel to Super Mario World. However, it takes place before the game where Mario's a baby... This isn't really a Mario game, it's more of a Yoshi game. So, I don't really know why it's on this list, but... A cool game, he plays Yoshi. It got a bunch of sequels. And it spanned... It gave Yoshi his own series. I did a playthrough two years ago on Yoshi's Corrupted World. You can could, you could check that out if you want to. However, I did not have a microphone yet. So, it, it sounds bad. But well, you can check it out if you want to. Super Mario 64. S tier. Okay, so let's talk about Super Mario 64. This game was really good when it came out. First 3D game ever. People had trouble even playing it because the controls were so off. Because back then, they weren't used to joysticks. They were used to D-pads. They weren't used to moving around in a three-dimensional space. This game was the first 3D Mario game and first 3D game. <laughs> That's really cool. And a lot of people have so good memories of this game. I played the DS one as a kid. Because I wasn't born yet. I, I was born when the DS came out. And I was able to play the DS version. So I personally have more nostalgia for that one than this one. But this game deserves to be an S tier. This game really deserves to be an S tier. Alright, you guys are going to hate me for this one. I'm sorry. I'm super smart. I'm so sorry. Super Mario Sunshine is a C. Actually, no. I'm going to, um... <laughs> no. I'm going to put it, um... Behind, I'm gonna put it there. Super, I, I, guys, I'm sorry. Please don't hate me. I just don't like Sunshine that much. I think it's unnecessarily hard. Some of the level, the, like the le a few of the levels are literal bullcrap, and I don't know why people enjoy some of them. The pachinko machine, the levels where Flood gets taken away, they suck so bad. They're not fun. Like, I have, to, I'm, I have it on the GameCube, and I have it on the Switch for Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I don't like this game. It, I have a love-hate relationship with it. And I just, I don't like this game sometimes. I think it's hard. A lot of levels are terrible. There are a few good things. Like, I think Flood is pretty cool. The story, I like Isle of Fino. I want that to return in a Mario, new Mario game. Yeah, the physics, I just hate the physics in this game. It's just not that good. This is my opinion, though. This is my opinion, so you can't bash me for it. New Super Mario Bros. DS. Um, S tier. S tier. This is the first game I have ever played. This game was magical to me. I love New Super Mario Bros. DS. There's so many great things about it. It was the return of Mario being 2D. All the bosses are original, except Bowser Jr. He's the mini tower boss. You fight him in each world, but still, the castle bosses are all original. And it's 
really cool. This game, if this game never came out, I probably would not be a Mario fan. Or maybe even, I probably wouldn't even be a gamer if this never came out. But I, I have so many memories of this game. Like, I, I'm, I'm doing separate, I'm doing a separate video on this game. I, I was working on a script like last year, but the, ex expect, expect a video on this game. Super Mario Galaxy. It's Super Mario Galaxy. This game is awesome. My first 3D Mario. This game is awesome. This is my Super Mario... Actually, no. <laughs> my Super Mario 64 was DS. Um, this game introduced me to 3D Mario. The soundtrack is phenomenal. I love this game so much. I've easily spent over 1,000 hours on this game. On the Wii and Switch. Um, I'm also doing a playthrough on this on my channel. Check it out if you haven't yet. Um, this game is so good. I'm also doing a video on this one, so you should you should check that out. I'm not going to say too much because this video is like over 11 minutes already. But New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Um, I'm going to put in there. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Um, was, I played this game a lot with friends, more specifically my sister's friends, because growing up, and still now, I don't have a lot of Nintendo friends, so, and New Super Mario Bros. Wii was, like, the game that everybody played. If you, if you have a Wii, you've played this game, or if, you, if you're a gamer at all, you have definitely played New Super Mario Bros. Wii. You, it's, you just don't exist if you haven't played Mario Bros. Wii. The Koopalings came back, and the last time they appeared was Super Mario World. The Koopalings came back, um, the music is really good. The final boss is amazing. Um, yeah, not on par with DS, just for the nostalgia factor, but... Super Mario Galaxy 2, um... Good game, not as good as Super Mario Galaxy 1. There are a couple nitpicks I have. Um, meaning that it, it, you, sometimes you just don't feel like you're in space in this game. The levels are a lot more linear. And the, the story just isn't as good as the original. It's, uh, it's basically Super Mario Galaxy 1, but the events repeat, but not in the same way. Because in Super Mario Galaxy, the... Um, universe is destroyed and it resets. So Super Mario Galaxy 2 is basically you experiencing it again, but a little bit different. And the levels, they're just too... Uh, it just feels like you're you're on Earth in, in the game. Not all, not all the levels feel like you're in space, but the, the, the sound... It's, it's Super Mario Galaxy. The soundtrack is phenomenal. It is beautiful. I really wish this was in th Super Mario 3D All-Stars. So that more people could replay this. Or people can play this for the first time ever. Because this game is so good. But I prefer Super Mario Galaxy 1. Yeah, that's my opinion. Super Mario 3D Land. Okay, now we're getting to... The Toughies. I like this game, but it's... Uh, um... Uh, I'm gonna put it there. Wait, no, um, I'm gonna p put it, um, <laughs> Super Mario 3D Land. It's Super Mario for the 3DS. This game, um, it is kind of controversial just because it's super linear. It's basically new Super Mario Bros, but from a 3D perspective. I love this game so much. I think the soundtrack is really good. It's not orchestrated like it was in Galaxy, but I I love the soundtrack of this game. The final boss music is awesome. The, the final boss is awesome. It brought back the Tanuki suit from Super Mario Bros. 3, and it basically saved the 3DS because it didn't have a 3D Mario game to justify it. New Super Mario Bros. 2. Um... Um, I'm gonna put it in the top of B tier. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna put it in the top of B tier. New Super Mario Bros. 2. 
It's basically a worse version of New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Yeah, there, there's a coin gimmick where there's a bunch of coins, but I just don't really think the game's that good. They reuse... The entire soundtrack is reused for New Super Mario Bros. Wii. There's only three new songs, but that's just worlds. And they, like, took out the best worlds and replaced them with just basic green and pink stuff. Like, the theme is just a solid color. That's the theme of the new world. It's just green, and the other one's just pink. That's it. Um, there's not really much to say about this game, but... <laughs> New Super Mario Bros. U. You go in... I'm gonna put you right there. New Super Mario Bros. U is... It brought back the giant world map from Super Mario World. Where it's just all one solid interconnected world. This game's really good. And it's on the Switch. With better content. However, on the Switch, it is basically the exact same game that it was on the Wii U. Just the one new playable character. Once again, not much to say about this. I might as well just do a video on it. Look at that. Super Mario 3D World. This is coming to the Switch next month. Really soon, actually. This game is going in... Uh, a tier. This game is awesome. I got this um, with the Wii U growing up back in like 2013 or something. I love this game. It, it's really good and I'm personally excited for the Switch version just because the new Bells with Fury. I'm gonna do retrospectives on like all the 3D Mario games on this. But there's not really much to say about it. Super Mario Run. C tier. Okay game. It's just okay. It's, it's not. It's not that great. And Super Mario Odyssey. Um, I'm gonna put it in. Oh, you guys are still gonna hate me for this. I'm putting it in A tier. Um, Super Mario Odyssey, monumental game. I played it two times on my channel, finished it one time recently, you should check that out as well. Super Mario Odyssey is a really, really, really good Mario game. However, it just didn't have the same magic that the other 30 games had. Don't get me wrong, it's a really good, good, it's a really good game. But I feel like it just doesn't have the same magic as, like, Galaxy or... Sunshine, or 64, I know I said Sunshine's bad, but Sunshine is... Su Sunshine is good, but it's just annoying sometimes. It's just not the same magic. The magic of the game kind of only worked with your first playthrough of the game, where everything felt new. But, yeah. Anyways, that, that, that's my tier list. That's my tiers on the mainline Super Mario games. Tell me your tier list of your opinion of Super Mario games. These are just mine. Remember, these are an opinion. Please don't bash me for any of them, especially Sunshine. I'm sorry. I really tried to look Sunshine. I'm just not into that. But thanks for watching if you did. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video that's coming soon. See you later.